we found the plane. There's nobody in it. All right, um, you take another sweep. Take my cat. Okay, I got it. Andrew, the search team found your boat. There was no sign of your wife or stepdaughter. It's 150 miles from the dam to the Canadian border. Can you think of any reason why they would have gone out in the middle of the night during a storm? Come here, I'm talking to you. Please, Andrew, help me. No. No, nothing. How was everything between you and Stephanie? Everything okay? No fights or arguments? Stop, 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 please, I promise. He left you. He left Sage. I've been here. I've taken care of you. Why do you make me do this? Mommy! What about Sage, your stepdaughter? What about her father? What about him? Any contact? Her father left her before she was even born. I've been here for her for most of her life. I'm the only father she ever had, Carl. I have to ask these questions, you understand? Yeah. Sure, Carl, I understand. As long as you understand that I love my family, when you're sitting here questioning me like I'm a suspect, I would never do anything to hurt them. Mommy! It's okay. I'm going out. Where were you last night? Davenport. I, uh, I stopped in at the firehouse. You can ask the boys. If you need an alibi. I'm going to need you to come down and give a full statement. Whatever you need. We're going to do everything we can to find them, Andrew. If you folks plan on doing any entertaining, I mean, this is the backyard that you want. Oh, and the guest house is perfect for a home office or maybe a little gym. Oh, look, honey, it's beautiful. Well, what about the neighborhood? We have a son. He's three. I moved here when my daughter was seven. The schools are fantastic. The traffic's minimal. The air's clean. There's always plenty of stuff for the kids to do. How's your daughter now? Seventeen. And she loves it here. Well, Amy, Michael, there's no reason to rush into anything. We're going to be in the house if you have any questions, okay? Sure. Okay. I still remember that scared little girl that came to my office five years ago looking for work. That was a long time ago. Yeah. How about a congratulatory glass of champagne? Or two. Okay. Rain check? I gotta pick up Rachel from work. Always juggling. I'll never know how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I remain impressed. 
Call you later. If we have dinner with Brett on Friday, but he's really looking forward to it. So can I go on another night? Give me a name and a social security number and we can talk. Paranoid much? Yeah, well, you'll learn as you get older. There's a lot of bad guys out there. I'm sorry, Andrew. It's not right. I give everything to this department. I understand, but the city's making cuts everywhere. And with your disciplinary problems, you're first on the list. I'm losing my house. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Access point, shut them out. Probably using the trees to get in your room. All right, well, listen, just do whatever you have to. Let's get rid of them, okay? Let's go set the traps now. All right. Hey, I uh, <coughs> found this deep in the attic. Thought maybe you might want it. Sure, thanks. Okay. might still be alive. Why don't you go to the police? Well, there must be some reason that she did this. I don't want to call the cops until I find out what it is. Look, for the past ten years, I thought they were dead. Now I find out they might be alive. I haven't had a relationship with Sage since he was seven years old. Your stepdaughter? Yeah. I want her back in my life. Have you tried reaching out to your wife's family? My parents died in a car accident. Look, can you help me find my wife and daughter or not? Well... It's not uncommon for identity thieves to take the identity of someone deceased, similar age, appearance. She has a list of social security numbers here, so if she's still alive. She's probably using one of them. Do whatever you have to. Find them. Look forward to hearing from you. Hmm. What are you hiding from, Stephanie? Hey, I'm hoping you can help me. I'm looking for a Lillian Floyd. <laughs> Kathleen Fogarty.
Mr. Bennett. Rick Sloan. I have some good news about your wife. Where is she? Well, that's good news. Yeah? No, thank you very much. You let me know as soon as you can confirm that. Thank you, Mr. Sloan. taking you tonight. Bless the knees. Ooh, is he stepping up his game? I don't know. He just said he wanted to have dinner with Rachel now on Friday. Mm-hmm. Although she's trying to get out of it. Apparently there's a boy. Oh, God, I remember that face. Just get ready to be 40 with an empty house because they all abandon you. <laughs> Tell me about it. What about the little girl that used to go through my closet and play dress up? So what do you think he was? I don't know. Oh, come on. You know that's a lie. He didn't say. What do you suspect? Maybe. Another lie. I've been fine on my own. It's been a long time since I've shared my life with someone. Well, I think it's about time, young lady. And Rachel? She's fine with it. She barely remembers Andrew. Okay, game face. Game face. Hi. I'm here for the open house. If you're married, your wife would be delighted to entertain in this room. Oh, yeah. I can see the guest list already. <laughs> Do you live in the area? Well, my wife is from Hemet. I'm Los Angeles, born and raised. What brings you out here? Taking a sabbatical from the university to write my book. Be someplace a little more relaxed, a little quieter. And my wife wants to be closer to her family. Hey, uh, do you mind if I take a couple of photos for her? Of course. Well, you've come to the right place. Palm Springs is quiet, peaceful, and a tremendous amount of art and culture. Oh, is that so? Mm-hmm. I should mention that we have a newly renovated art museum. If you'd like, I could arrange a tour. My boyfriend, Brad, is the assistant director. Well, that's a coincidence, because my book is about Southwest influence in art. You're kidding. Wow. Well, he'd be happy to show you around it. He loves sharing his knowledge. Well, I really appreciate that, because I need all the information I can get. Well, thanks for taking the time. That's a beautiful house. Well, good luck with the move. If there's anything else I could do, just let me know. Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, your boyfriend's card. Excuse me? Oh, for my book. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I have one in the car. Hold on. Yep. Here you go. Okay. She goes by the name of Alexandra Cole. Sage's name has been changed to Rachel. She owns her own home, made some uh, some wise investments, has a pretty healthy bank account. Who's the guy? Oh, uh, Brett Collins, assistant director of the local art museum. They've been going on for about two years, seems pretty serious. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Rachel. Tell me about it. Rachel is a tour guide at the Palm Springs Tramway. Straight A student. According to her Facebook page, wants to work with animals. <laughs> Two 
She always loved the outdoors. She just... Even when she was a little kid, every Sunday I had to take her out into the woods. She wanted to catch bugs. Bitch took her from me. Let me remind you that once our business is concluded, confidentiality only remains intact, subject to no laws being broken by the use of the information I provide. I know about the insurance money. Hey, I never saw a dime of that money. I didn't even send in the claim form. Well, someone did. Who? I mean, who would even know the... She stole my identity and she filed the insurance claim. A quarter of a million dollars. That's a hell of a lot of seat money to start a new life, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I think we should go to the police. With the evidence we have, they would bring her right in. I mean, the fact that she took the insurance money alone is fraud. Police? Yeah. If there's anything else, it would make you look... complicit. They're going to want to question everybody that you work with on this, right? Oh, uh, yeah, but that would just be me since we're a one-man operation. Well, closure. I'm being thorough. Paramedics at the station for this one work pretty good. This is fun. Well, let's see what you got for me here, huh? And the case that you never worked on. that he would prepare us a wonderful dessert in celebration. Oh, my God. Honey, the last two years have been absolutely amazing for me. I know this is a long time coming. I know you've been very patient. I just... I just want everything to be right. It is right. So... Yes, of course I will. <laughs> and Rachel, I... I love you, blessing. Oh, are you kidding? Of course. Now when Mom says no, I can talk to you and say yes. Cheers. To new beginnings. To new beginnings. Thanks for dinner, Brad. I'm gonna start on my homework. You really think she's okay with it? Are you kidding? She loves you. Oh, good. Because I am crazy about her mother. 
Well, let's go have another glass of wine. Let's. engagement ring already? Okay, okay, fine. Where, where is it? So where am I looking? Yes, yes, I got it. It was right where you said it was. I'm really glad you guys are getting married, Mom. Yeah, Brett's such a great guy. Couldn't ask for a better stepfather. Is that all you needed?
minute. Hi. Sorry to bother you. I'm from the front. You have a delivery. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Sarah. Sarah. I'm Jake. Hi. Why don't you come inside and have a drink with me, pretty girl? Oh, I really shouldn't. I need to be getting back. Okay. But I do have a break in an hour, if that's okay. See you in an hour, Sarah. fair degree of certainty that it's of no historical significance, at least. How can you tell? Well, primarily because it's been artificially aged. Now, that's not some play fraud on anybody's part. It's a technique commonly used by contemporary clay artists. They use a mixture of brown, shoe polish, wax, and then they just rub it in with some minerals you can see right here. Mm -hmm. I'd say this particular piece is no more than five years old. Right. Too bad. I, mean, I really wanted her to be able to leave her legacy here at this museum. She, she loved this place. It's certainly a wonderful yeah. passion. Find something like this one listed on eBay and <laughs> make a fortune. <laughs> eBay. So is your grandmother from around here? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. She uh, she lived over on Compadre. It's by the high school. Beautiful golf course. Right, yeah, by the golf course. You saw it? LA. But I was thinking maybe I could move here. I love it here. Well if you're serious about buying, I'd be happy to recommend a real estate. You know what? Well you yeah. full disclosure, she's my fiance, but if you'd entertain it, I'd love to give you a business card. Yeah, perhaps that would be great. Follow me, go by my office. You're right behind you. And while Crocker first came up with the idea for the tramway in 1935, it wouldn't be until 1961 that construction would begin on what would become known as the eighth wonder of the world. Helicopters flew 23,000 missions over 26 months of construction to complete five towers and the mountain station. And since its opening in 1963, over 12 million people have ridden this tramway. It's a lot. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. yeah, let's go. Established by an act of Congress on October 24, 2000. It encompasses 272,000 acres and has a rich history of its own. For example, uh, have any of you ever heard of the Los Alamos mine at the mountain summit? Well, after spending over $31 million to date, the investor uh, ran back to Canada broke because it kind of ended up a bust. The mine is still there, on the, uh, up on the mountain, and it's sort of a sore reminder of one of the area's more colorful moments. concludes our tour today, but feel free to grab some food or take a look around. Have a good one. It's a great tour. Oh, glad you enjoyed it. I did. It was fascinating. Is that all true? The helicopters, the lost mines? Yeah, uh, sure. If, um, if you want to read more about it, you can get a book in the gift shop. Great. I went for my daughter. She loves history. She's about your age. What are you, 17? Yeah. Then I'd, I'd recommend the one by Watson. Watson? Got it. You, you look familiar. Have you taken the tour before? No. No, this is my first time. Oh, okay. I just have one of those faces. It must be. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll buy your tea. If you give me five minutes, just sit down somewhere. Just tell me some story about this place. It's fascinating. Sure, yeah, I can do that. Great. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right there. This one's on me. So, the only thing I can think is my boss cannot find her out because... Because you snuck your friend on the tram. I snuck her on the tram, and then she's giving the tour better than I am, so I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> that would be horrible. This is so beautiful here. Were you born here? No, but 
I feel like I've been here forever. My mom and I moved here when I was seven. Just you and your mom? Mm -hmm. What what happened to your dad? I never knew my real father. I had a stepdad, but he died before we moved, so I barely remember him. He died. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you have the time by any chance? Yeah. Oh yeah, I better get going. Watch seems really familiar. Um, thank you for the tea. It was nice chatting with you, Jake. Bye. Rachel. I bet your dad's watching you right now. He's really proud. I bet he misses you every day. Bring your daughter next time. Okay. Take care. What are you wearing? Go change. Mom! Go! I'll get the door. Be nice in here. Hi. Hi, you must be Parker. Yeah, yeah. Is Rachel home? Yeah. Seems to be the new boyfriend, huh? Not your friend, actually. Yeah, I'm Parker. Uh, Brett, right? Uh, Mr. Collins will be fine. Don't worry, Rachel. Mr. Collins. So tell me, where are you heading tonight? At uh, movies. Is that right? Yes, sir. Hi. Stop it. I will. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Drive carefully. I will. I remember those days. Yeah? Yes, you call. Okay, easy. <laughs> Never back by 10.30, you watch. Mm-hmm. She needed help finding a house. Uh, honey, Jake Dawson. Oh, you must be Alexander. Honey, you okay? I'm fine. Hey, yeah, lucky man, Dr. Collins. Ah, please, it's, uh, it's Brett. Come here, Brett. Excuse me one second. Uh, that's a greenskeeper found a broken window at the museum. I need to make a call two seconds. Please take this time to tell him about the Presley house. He would love that. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Oh, this is nice. We're civilized. Two adults just sitting, chatting. Congratulations on your engagement, by the way. Does he know that you're still married? What do you want? I want the ten years of my life that you took from me. The ten years that I spent mourning the loss of my family. That's what I want. I want Sage to know who a real father is. Things perhaps like it when you waste your time looking for someone who isn't dead. I don't think that they like that you assumed the identity of someone who's deceased. And I know the IRS doesn't like you paying taxes under a fraudulent name. They also don't care for husbands who beat their wives. I would tell them everything. That you terrorized us. That we feared for our lives. We had to disappear. It's so dramatic. I'm so sorry. 
Yeah. They say time heals. Not so sure. Unfortunately, Jake can't stay. He has a prior commitment. Understand, please. You have to join us again. Looking forward to it. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much for taking time to listen to my story. Enjoy. Take care. Okay. Oh, he seems like such a nice guy. It's a shame about his family. Hey, this is Rachel. Please leave a message and I'll call you back. on your phone. I was worried. Oh, sorry. I had it on silent in a theater. I forgot to turn it back on. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Everything's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Another date. It was good. We were late to the movie, so we didn't touch the whole thing, but... Yeah. that used to nest up in our act well they came back so i hired a guy to go up there and get them guess what he finds your little box not too difficult after that and by the way the insurance policy i have to say that that was a particularly nice touch i don't have to remind you you're a lot more loose than i do is that what you're gonna do 